Hello everyone. Today I present you our paper LMAC. This work is jointly completed by myself, Jensen, Chia Jay, Professor Ritan and Professor Moli. Low power wide area networks such as LoRa are everywhere. They have a wide spectrum of uses ranging from sensing such as smart metering, parking and soil quality monitoring to actuation such as home automation, agriculture, and street lighting. These applications require deploying large numbers of nodes under dense environments. In this work, we focus how LoRa networks can address some challenges in order to improve coexistence. LoRa has gained much attention in the recent years due to properties in it to CSS modulation such as long range and low power. As such, a single LoRa base station could cover up to kilometers of range. Therefore, to control network contention, current LoRa and LoRaWAN networks impose limitations on the duty cycle. However, as networks become more dense, more frames are lost, making this approach unscalable. In order to evaluate the rest of the work in this paper, we utilize an indoor testbed and our campus-wide LoRa testbed consisting three LoRa gateways. Using that, we estimate the current performance of LoRa. As you can see, a higher demand significantly impacts the network performance, and merely trying to send out more packets result in diminishing returns. CSMSCA allows wireless nodes to avoid potential collisions by performing channel sensing. Protocols such as Wi-Fi employ algorithms such as DCF that rely on RSS to enable CSMSCA. The key rationale is that a node estimates channel state based on RSS. When a collision is anticipated, a node backs off from transmitting. However, LoRa heavily relies on concurrent transmissions via multiple spreading factors for improved network capacity. At the same time, LoRa frames could also traverse under the noise flow. As such, simply using RSS-based channel sensing will not allow us to detect concurrent transmissions as well as those under the noise flow. This renders RSS-based channel sensing futile for LoRa. On the other hand, the CAD feature in the LoRa radio can be used to detect ongoing traffic as well as to distinguish across all spreading factors without any hardware modification. This allows the node to not only back off when a potential collision is sensed, but also to switch to a better combination of channel and spreading factors. Lastly, CAD mode also allows the node to detect those transmissions that are under the noise flow. Based on that, we come up with three CSMA protocols for LoRa. LMAC1 follows similar design principles to those in the DCF algorithm used for channel sensing in Wi-Fi. In LMAC2, we exploit the capabilities of CAD mode to develop a statistic that reflects the contention of the network. With this, Nodes opt for a better channel and spreading factor combinations to perform a transmission. An approach like this helps distribute the network contention across all channel and spreading factor combinations. And in LMAC3, we consider a feedback channel, similar to that available in LoRaWAN Class B. A LoRa gateway oversees the network as a whole and therefore knows global view of channel utilizations. Here, the gateway provides nodes with helpful information which leads to further improved network performance. We now present you two comparable spectrograms of LMAC2 and Aloha. For this demo, we utilize several LoRa nodes, a USRP N210 as a spectrum monitor, and emulate a highly contended environment. On the bottom, you can see the spectrogram of Aloha, and on the top, you can see the spectrogram of LMAC2. As you can see, under Aloha, nodes send out a stream of LoRa frames without checking the status of the channel merely to meet the demand. Most of such packets end up collided at the gateway. However, we can observe significantly less number of collisions under LMAC2. In addition, we also present you a comparison of network performances of all three LMACs. As you can see, LMACs bring significant energy savings by reducing the unnecessary collisions. Lastly, we share with you a few highlights from our outdoor evaluation. On top, each point in figures represent a node with the averaged SNR at the gateway. 
we can clearly see that most Aloha nodes are scattered near bottom while few of them enjoy higher PRR and good put. This signifies low network fairness. However, in the case of LMAX, we can see that this problem has been significantly solved. We also present the cumulative traffic for all protocols under varying SNRs. As you can see, effective traffic of Aloha only starts to rise at an SNR of 4 dB, while LMAX starts to increase at a much earlier time. Finally, we make available a version of LMAC integrated LoRaWAN under the following URL. Thank you for your attention and please see our paper for further details.